After rolling through their first six games of conference play, the UConn women's basketball team welcomed in fellow conference unbeaten UCF to a much anticipated matchup Sunday afternoon inside the XL Center. The Huskies came flying out of the gate, taking a huge early lead thanks in part to Nafisa Collier who opened the scoring, then finished consecutive and ones in the paint. The onslaught continued as Crystal Dangerfield found a streaking Katie Lou Samuelson who finished and drew the foul. UConn's suffocating zone defense forced 10 first quarter turnovers and led to multiple fast break finishes, including a beautiful play by Samuelson to cap off a dominating opening quarter. UCF had no answer for UConn's offense. Dangerfield added another and one and the Huskies seemingly could not miss. Kyla Irwin got into the action, burying a three to put UConn up by 30. The Huskies put the cherry on top to end the half as a gorgeous inbounds play resulted in a buzzer beater from Dangerfield. Apparently, it wasn't planned. We've been working on that since uh, the one second mark at, at the half. Um, that's when we started working on it. The one-two punch of Samuelson and Collier could not be stopped, combining for 30 points as the Huskies took a 61 to 36 lead into the half, shooting an absurd 71% from the field. The lone cloud over the first half was the continued struggle of freshman Kristen Williams, who could not find her shot and had multiple turnovers. The start of the second half echoed the first as Collier opened the scoring, but the offense struggled to get into gear. Fortunately, the defense was solid as a big block by Walker turned into an open three for her on the other end. She quietly got buckets all game, finishing with 21 points and 11 rebounds. Meg's got a lot of skills. Meg's, you know, Meg's a talented kid. You know, we said that you know, all along from day one. That's never, been, that's never been in question, her talent level. The Huskies' lead hovered around 30, and a few role players were able to get some valuable minutes. Kyla Irwin had a smooth finish inside, Olivia Nelson Oduda got into the action on the offensive end, and with his starters on the bench, Coach Oriyama let his bench close it out in front of a crowd of 12,139 who were treated to an offensive showcase all afternoon. UConn ran away with this one, 93-57, to as the Huskies outscored the Knights 27-6 in transition, and Coach Oriyama was pleased with that effort. We ran the floor pretty well today, which we hadn't done in a while. You know, our transition game was good because we had people to throw the ball to up ahead. On a day where number one Notre Dame fell, UConn showed they are still the class of women's college basketball. What was supposed to be a tough test against UCF quickly turned into a blowout for the Huskies, who improved to 18-1. and But they have no time to celebrate this one, as Thursday they head to Louisville for their second top five matchup of the season on the road. From the XL Center in Hartford, I'm Noah Mott, UCTV Sports.